to do is turn on the television for five minutes to find something about the presidential campaign. And while we are not going to talk politics, we are going to talk about one subject that has really, I think, propelled Donald Trump into the forefront. And that is, I think he's tapped into a lot of people's inner anger. Maybe they were angry about things they didn't even realize. Dr. Nick joined us with that and more this morning. Good to see you. Fascinating Isn't uh, it? To, to follow the kind of national psyche if you will, not so much Trump, but just what he's tapped yes. and the anger that he's tapped from, from the white male to the single b black mother to the, you know, to, the, to, to the woman who thinks you know, that she's in control of her body to the person who thinks corporate has taken over the world. It, it's fascinating, isn't it? It to is. To see the amount of anger that's roaring in the, the, a, a black president, you know, the possibility of, there's, I, I think part of the anger, Whitney, is that change is happening so incredibly fast in the nation mm -hmm. that we're kind of off our center. Mm. And when we get off our center, our self-worth, our self-esteem, our sense of who we are, all that starts shaking up. Oh, and then now, he's telling I'm us we're not what we used to be either, right? And, 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 and if you notice the big thing that he, that I think he says, and, he, and he's tapping, we don't win. We're not winning anymore. Everyone's beating us. Now imagine that kind of being feeling, of being feeling stepped on all the time. Mm. It's tapped into that national psyche. Now that's the national psyche. I mean, we also have to deal with our own personal anger. But I just think that that's a fascinating thing to watch because it's basically saying the national personality is changing. Mm -hmm. Well, which isn't brings that what anger? What causes anger when we feel confronted or hurt? or put down, mm -hmm. or stepped on? That's right, that's right. And so I think that in, in many people, we're all feeling a little bit like, well, I didn't really know I felt that way. But, I didn't know. But he verbalized it, and yeah, I kind of agree with that one statement, because he says everything. <laughs> you know? yeah. I mean, he's, gonna, yeah. he's gonna touch somebody's button on something. Yes, yes. But when it, when it comes to, and I don't necessarily mean it has to be anger, toward the presidential you know, process or anger toward our country as a whole, but just inner anger. How do we discover what we're really angry about? When I get, at, speaking personally, when I find myself angry, it's usually because I'm somehow out of control or I feel wounded, punched, mm. um, personally invaded or, or, or put down. It may or may not be real, but the perception is there, and then it becomes a matter again of what am I going to do with that emotion? Okay, and instead of crying, okay. why does that which often? Is, which is possibly what we do, right. cry, but or, go ahead. Scream, yell, holler, scream, and treat people terribly. Scream, yell, holler, terribly. and treat people terribly, which is not necessarily the answer. Right. We know that. We, we were big on it in the 70s, but we've seen that that's not necessarily good because explosions and aggressive behavior really hurts our physical and mental health. Yes. It no. does. I mean, it's proven that, that self-regulation is, is the ticket to, 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 to peace and serenity. So there are a but, lot of myths about what anger is and how we should deal with it. And one is um, anger, I just got to get it out. Got to get it out. Okay, why is that not true? Well, because, because what happens is it, it, it becomes almost like diuretic. We're just, we're just throwing and, and, mm. and, and exploding and, and convulsing. And whoever's in the path, And whoever look out. is in the path, look out. And, and, and along with that myth is, you know, I, I do great 90% of the time, but then all of a sudden you hit that last 10% and I just explode. And I'm like, what? That's supposed to be healthy, right? That I that I'm pushing it in, and then the other myth is is well, I don't need to express it because it's not Christian. It's not it's not the the kind thing to do. Then we can move into passive aggressive behavior, oh, because that's which horrible. is the slamming of the doors and the ignoring people and, and the ignoring, and not looking at people. I've had bosses <laughs> like that before. I'm like. Oh. Been a while, thank goodness. But and, yeah, it's horrible. And, and what else is there in terms of kind of like the the, the the anger trap that we can fall in? Is that well, they just pretend that, it doesn't exist. Well, or, or 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 one of the things that I find so interesting about anger is that I might think I'm angry at you when I'm really angry at someone else, mm. or I'm angry because of something happened the other day, and you might catch it because you're safe. 
Right. Right. That's that's is real question. Probably what a bunch of spouses have to deal with. I think with, right? uh, I think a lot of spouses have to deal with that. And brothers and sisters. And brothers and sisters have to deal with that. Yeah. yeah. School went bad, yeah. but they yeah. come home and the yeah. brothers ugly to a sister. And I just want to I just want to say one one more thing though. That's all. And you know I always say this. It's human mm. to become angry. Something in us tells us that we shouldn't ever get angry. And I think that's mm. not true. If I step on your shoe or push you against the wall, I would hope you'd be angry. Right, right. Wouldn't you? I would. Of if course. It was intentional. <laughs> of course you would say, back up. That hurts or don't do that to me. Anger is a very powerful thing, but wouldn't you agree it almost throws us then into a feeling of guilt? Oh, I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, no, I'm not sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Anger so, is a powerful emotion. So what, 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 how can how can we um, manage it effectively and responsibly? One of the best ways I think to handle manage, manage to handle a- anger is to be creative with it, to find healthy outlet with outlets with it in terms of utilizing our our energy, hmm. cleaning the house, writing, exercising. journaling, <laughs> exercising. Talking it out maybe with a third party without it being gossip, Mm -hmm. consulting, you know, having a mediator can sometimes help when there's anger. Sometimes, Whitney, the greatest thing we can do with any emotion, particularly anger or fear, is simply sit with it. Oh. Take five? (laughs) Take five. Take, you know, I'm just angry. I felt that at times that with you, right. not angry at you, but like Whitney, I'm just angry. And, and it's okay. I'm so glad I'm with you because I'm just angry about this. Right. Or I'm sad about this. Not that we're talking about sadness. And we may talk but about it or we be- may not. But it's being. Do you mm-hmm. hear the being? And it's okay to be because it really, it, it really will pass. It True. really will pass. True. It won't it, just continue, continue to fester and no. grow. No. Unless perhaps you have a problem with an individual. And then I think if you, if you never confront that or you never say that really hurt me or I'm disappointed, then it can, it can be bad for the relationship. It, it, it can be. And, and just, just real quickly, I know I, I, for some reason I love to distinguish between the, the taste of anger, hmm. which is it's, it's an experience, and the diet of bitterness. Oh, the okay. diet of bitterness, meaning that I'm just going to become a bitter person. Oh, that's horrible. See, which is what anger can lead to. Can lead to. Mm. That, that bad divorce can lead to bitterness and a distrust and a, and, a, and a just I hate life or I'll never trust again. See, that's the downside when we let it become, as I said, the diet. And, and you said earlier when we were talking, wouldn't it also be nice to uh, uh, to realize that there's so many more emotions than anger? Oh, right. Huh? I, know, I, I don't have to stay here. I can think of something else that'll make me joyful. Okay, I'm angry at this person, or I'm angry because it's raining, or I'm angry because I missed the fight, but I'm going to accept it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be I'm happy gonna, about it, all these other great I'm gonna, things. I'm going to accept it, and I'm going to be open to where I might be led because I didn't get what I want mm. or because I was hurt by this person. It can lead to growth. Yeah, yes. Well, it's going to be interesting um, to follow the presidential campaign as we it, go on. because m- Most certainly, because I don't want myself to vote out of anger. No. I don't. No. I don't want to vote out of anger, and I don't like bullying, which is a lot of t- times we think anger will do. Right. Or anger is good. Let me just put Which you some down. Some presidential candidates have displayed that bullying. The, the bullying <laughs> aspect. No question It'll about it. It will be interesting. It will be. But it will it's be. our own inner anger that we can work on and do better at. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Dr. Nick.